Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Tuesday, December 13th. 12 days till Christmas. The count. 12 days till Christmas! Is this when the 12 days of Christmas? No, I guess the 12 days of Christmas is out, technically after Christmas. But it's 12 days till Christmas, so all of you with the 12 day advent calendars can start opening them now. Hip hip hooray! I don't have one of those, I just have the T one. Breakfast is happening. It's the same as yesterday, except for instead of raspberries, I have two clementines. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points with the coffee. So that's what's happening food wise. I was perfectly on track yesterday, which was awesome. It feels really good on days that I stick to the 30 points and still manage to feel full. Like there are days that are like, yeah, I did it, but I was miserable doing it. Yesterday was not one of those days. I was actually totally okay with how it turned out and I got to eat my donut and I felt full. It was good. It was a good day yesterday for Weight Watcher stuff. So that's awesome. What's up with this hair, man? Good grief. Anywho, today, if you recall, is errand running day. So I have my gym clothes on already. I've got my video uploaded for y yesterday, which is today, and you know, all that vlog exception stuff. And I'm going to eat, and I'm going to hopefully get my butt moving. The There is a slight problem in that I woke up this morning. Oh, that reminds me. I need to take ibuprofen. I woke up this morning and the area, I guess it's the small of my back, right below the small of my back, you know when your back starts to arch back out towards your tailbone? That feels like this today. Like, I don't, I, it's so tight and hurts so bad. I'm not so bad, but it's really difficult to move. Really difficult. So I think I have to try and see if I can loosen that up before I go to the gym because I want to go to the gym today. <laughs> And, but I don't want to hurt myself. I'm going to take some ibuprofen, see if I can stretch it out, loosen it up. Maybe take my little, I have a little blue torture device is what I call it. I will show it to you. It's this like self-massage thing so you can, it's it's just this weird S-shaped thing. I'll show it to you later when I use it. Um, but I call it my blue torture device. I might try and take my blue torture device to my back and see if that helps. So that's a problem. But other than that, I've got a list going of all the places I need to go today. Ta-da! And I don't think this is a complete list yet, but I'm just writing things down as I think of them. So, ready, set, it's Aaron Day. Go. Okay, so like I promised, I'm going to show you my little blue torture device, is what I call it. And yes, it looks like it could be a device for other purposes, but I swear to you, this is a, like, a self-massage thing, so you could work the kinks out of your back and neck and shoulders and everything without the help of anybody else. And it has all sorts of different little knobbies, like this is supposed to go on the pressure points on your shoulder, I believe this you can use to pinpoint things on your back and you just fling it over your shoulder and it has some rounded tip options and then it has these pointed tip options that give you more of like the pre like more pressure and whatnot and then I don't I haven't quite figured out how to use these rather rather scandalous looking ends for um, on, on myself because it re would require some really awkward placement and movement, but what I'm using today is going to be these and primarily this one because I can, I swing this around my back and I actually hold on here and hold on here and can pull, push this way into my back, my lower back, which is where it hurts. So what I'm going to do is I already worked with this a little bit and it didn't really help, but I'm going to put some Icy Hot on it and massage some Icy Hot into my back. And I just, I like this tool, I think it was $30. But it's great because I can do things without having to say, I always ask my husband, hey, can you rub my shoulders? I'm really cramped up. I have a knot, whatever. Because he's not always home to do that for me. And he will, but I'm, I'm intense and in pain more often than he's home to fix it. So I got this for myself, and it actually really does help. It's not as good as having someone else work on your shoulders or whatever, but it gets the job done in the interim. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then get my butt to the gym. Lunch time. I've got two points of the Smart Food White Cheddar single serving packed popcorn. as a little chip like thing. I got vegetables for zero points, and this is a chicken, fat free cheese, mayonnaise, pickles, mustard wrap on a fit and active wrap from Aldi, and this is four points total. So lunch is six points, and I'm currently trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go 
to, wow, my lips look red in this light. Um, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go for glasses because that's another thing on today's to-do list is to go and take my prescription in and get glasses because I don't wear glasses during the day at all. It's just right when I wake up and right before I go to bed. So my pair of glasses is probably, I'm not even joking, at least 10 years old because I never use it and I can't see out of my right eye with them on anyway. So I haven't updated them, but they're falling apart. <laughs> like literally I have one of my earrings from Claire's, a stud, holding the one side together because the screw basically disintegrated. Like that's how crazy it is. So I am going and I need to go order a pair of glasses before December 31st because that's when insurance will pay for it for the year. We have like we, we have X amount of money to just spend on eyewear stuff every year. So I'm going to go and do that before everything rolls over and starts fresh. So I have to figure out where I want to go. It's that time again. It is tea time. Today is the 13th, right? I think so. What do we get? Cream caramel rooibos. Ooh, caramel sounds really good. It's pretty late. It's almost 9 o'clock. That doesn't focus. It says zero. Zero and caramel flavored. Yum, yum, yum. I can't decide which tea I want to drink. It's between this and I think this one, the bear trap. I might make the bear trap. That sounds pretty good. I, uh, it is, like I said, almost nine o'clock. It's 20 till. It's been quite a day, my friends. It's been quite a day. I went to, where did I start? I went to Jared. The Galleria of Jewelry. You know, oh, he went to Jared. Um, I went there because that is where my husband gets most of my jewelry. And by most, I mean, I have, I think, three things from there. He got me, my ring is from a little private jeweler down in Florida. But he got me, for our wedding, his gift to me was this necklace, like the Journeys necklace. Because he was like, well, what do you, what kind of jewelry do you want? I didn't know I was getting a, a piece of jewelry but I told him I'm like if you ever want to get me jewelry get I would much prefer something that I could wear every day rather than some big fancy expensive flashy piece you know like flashy is gorgeous but when am I gonna wear it as opposed to something that's a little bit more subdued but something I can wear every day and so he got me the journey ring and it was perfect I wore it on my wedding day too and so that's from there. Our first anniversary gift was a pair of earrings from there. And then last year's Valentine's Day was a pair of earrings from there. And they have this lifetime warranty or some sort of plan where you, it, it's like diamond replacement, all sorts of good, exciting things. But you have to go and get them inspected every six months. So we have all of my jewelry on a schedule of December and June. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure I got that done so I didn't forget and had to like scurry home on New Year's Eve and hope that they were open or something. So I went to Jared and that took all of, you know, 15 minutes. It took me longer to get there than it did to actually get the thing done. And then I went to JCPenney and I went to Macy's and found what I needed at Macy's. Granted, the selection, I was looking for a particular kind of candy and they usually have a kiosk in the mall, but they don't this year. And it was sold in Macy's, but the assorted stuff wasn't... There was one box left, so I grabbed the last box. I was like, well, this stuff must be pretty popular. So I did that, and then I went to JCPenney to try and... I'm, I'm seeking inspiration for my husband's gift. And I actually, like, I have a couple of things for him. And I think you've seen one of the other things. But it, I even texted him, I'm like, I want to let you know that gift shopping for you makes me sad. He's like, why does it make you sad? And I'm just like, you're so particular about everything that anything I've considered, I've thought of a reason not to, not to buy it. Because my thing is, I, I really want to get him something that I know he'll like. And, but he's so picky that I can't think of anything to get him that I know he'll like. And it makes me feel like a little bit of a failure as a wife not knowing how to get Christmas presents for my own husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Like, I know he needs a new wallet. He's given me a, like, he's come up with items that have not made it onto his Christmas list of things that he needs. But there are things that he needs to go to a store and pick out himself because if I choose it for him, it's going to be wrong. You know? Are any of you wives out there in the same boat? Like, if you pick something without him doing his research, you will probably inevitably be wrong. That's how it is trying to buy him pretty much anything. 
so he needs a new wallet. I looked at a couple wallets today. I don't know if they're right or not. In my, the ones I looked at look almost identical to the one he currently has, but I feel like if I buy it, there will still be something wrong with it, you know? And I, it makes me sad. I want to be able to get him good, surpri good surprises, you know? And I just, currently, I don't feel like I can. So Christmas shopping for him has been a pain and a bit depressing. So there's that. That's why I went to JCPenney. And I went to go find myself a belt. Failed there, too. Because the belts that I saw, I feel like I found the exact same belt that I already have. Same brand, same style. I feel like it's made a lot more cheaply than the one I currently have, which is falling apart. But I looked at it, I'm like, I feel like this just feels so cheap. And whatever. So I didn't buy it because I'm like, I'm going to go find myself a better belt. So I went to JCPenney and had no luck. I might have treated myself today. Might have treated myself. Because, I'm, look at me justifying this. I don't... There's no excuse. There's no reason. I don't need to justify or reward myself with food. But I did, because I've been in so, I've been in so much pain today. I don't think I hopped back on here and said that. The, you know, the back pain that I started with today that started kind of in the center lower part of my back, it migrated up the left side. And so it's like right under my rib cage now too. It's very, very pleasant, let me tell you. And so I went to the gym with that pain. And as it got worse, but it got progressively worse as the day went on, but I had to do all my shopping and I'm like, I can't, I can't put this off. So I went and hauled my butt through the mall and all that stuff with my bionic legs on and anyway and I just I feel so crummy because of it I really do like it's not a sickness like I feel like I'm sick but I don't have any symptoms of being sick it's just this like the pain and tension in my back almost causes like feelings of nausea so it makes me feel like I'm sick it's very strange and I really don't like it but anyway I rewarded myself by going to the Cheesecake Factory and picking up a piece of their seasonal cheesecake, which is peppermint bark. I've never had it before. I love Cheesecake Factory, by the way. Love it. And I had that as my dinner because I didn't know what else to eat. I was going to eat my other Sandwich Brothers breakfast pita. Apparently, my husband ate it on Monday morning and didn't tell me about it, and it was my last one. So I was like, man, I was going to eat that, and then I couldn't find it anywhere. So I might have had cheesecake for dinner. Whoops. But I don't even really feel that guilty about it because you saw my lunch, you saw my breakfast. So I had all those points left and I far exceeded my step goal today. So tomorrow's another day and I will be back on track and there will be no cheesecake and it will be fine. So I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Then what did I do? I drove to a different mall to go to a lens crafters to get my glasses, which I think I also told you about earlier today. And after all was said and done, I found the frames I wanted and whatnot. And then I discovered that the... Did I not tell you about this? I can't actually remember. Um, I must not have. This is the first time I've hopped on the camera since I've been home, I think. Now I really don't remember. I saw, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. But the prescription was only for my left eye. Like, just put power in the left eye lens. Now normally, this wouldn't be as big of a deal to me because technically, this I did mention earlier, I cannot see clearly out of my right eye. Long story short, five years ago or so, I got a, an ulcer in my eye. Worst pain ever. Ever. Not kidding. I'm, I'm not even over exaggerating here. It was horrible. It was a terrifying experience, a horrible experience, blah, 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 blah. I can tell you more later if you want to know more about it. I had a corneal transplant to get rid of the scar that was on my eye. So I have someone else's cornea on my right eye. And the way it healed is instead of a smooth surface like the cornea is supposed to be, it's a wavy surface. So basically, without all the scientific jargon, I cannot see clearly out of my eye. It looks like everything is a bit blurry because of the way the light bounces off of my non-smooth corneal surface. So I have, I have a solution to that problem, which is a hard contact lens. 
Also a very painful experience. I have the prescription hard contact lens and when I use it, I can see clearly. The problem is when I use it, I am in so much pain that it's not worth putting in my eye. So I just finally threw my hands up in the air. I was like, you know what? I'm done living in this pain every day and dreading putting my eyeballs in. So I got a soft contact lens with a negative 11 prescription, which is still not strong enough to make everything clear, but it's enough to kind of to make it a little bit less of an extreme difference from nothing to a little bit blurry. So I, the doctor gave me the strongest prescription he could for my eye. So I still put two contacts in every day, but I do all of my seeing out of my left eye. So I'm, I guess I'm technically legally blind in my right eye. But so I wanted the power in my right lens as well again just to kind of mitigate and lessen that difference so it didn't seem so extreme when I have my glasses on and the people at lens crafters couldn't do anything about it they said I have to go get a new prescription so I have to say a special prayer that when I call the eye doctor tomorrow they take pity on me and don't make me come in for another exam because if they're going to make me do that I'm just going to say screw it and use the prescription I currently have but and I'm hoping they'll fax it over and give me exactly what I want because it, I don't need this eye tested. I can tell you it's not going to make me see clearly, but it'll, it'll be a little bit less painful for this eye. Did any of that make sense? Was any of that even worth saying? Point is, I went to Lens Crafters, and after spending like an hour there, I walked out without ordering glasses. So there's that. And then I came home, still feeling crummy. I ate my cheesecake. That made me feel a little bit better. But in general, still feeling pretty crummy. So I'm going to go and do some work on my blog, I suppose. Oh, the big news of the day. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you or not. We're going to go with it. I don't think my sister watches my vlogs anyway. My sister got engaged tonight. My youngest sister, the baker. I don't know if I've told you about her. What have I said about her in the past? I don't remember. Not the one with the really super cute baby, the little one. Um, and she's not so little. She's like 24. So... She got engaged today, which is very exciting. And so there have been text messages going off between me and various family members. So that happened tonight as well. And other than that, there's been nothing exciting. I am just going to go work on some blog stuff and probably read a bit. Oh, did I tell you guys I finished my Harry Potter book last night? I don't think I told you. I sat in bed and I determined, I'm like, I am going to finish this stinking book. I only had like 50 pages left and I did it and it didn't keep me up ridiculously late either. So that is another check goal achieved for me for December. Happy day. So I finished technically, technically, I have finished the two books as well. I finished the um, the other fiction book I was reading, and then I went through an entire audiobook as well. And I'm trying to decide if the audiobook counts or not. I'm going to, my goal is to read another book, so it's two book books that I have read instead of one that I've listened to. But look at me and those December goals. Yes! So I finished Harry Potter last night, so I might do some reading tonight. I might do some more power sheets or Leonie Dawson goals, shining year planning, whatever. But now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to quit while I am ahead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening, and I will probably talk to you again before I decide to sign off for the night. So I just finished editing the rest of the video, and I just need to put this little tag on it. And that last segment was 12 minutes long. I can't believe how long I rambled about so many different things. Seriously, guys, if it starts to drive you crazy, let me know. I won't be offended. I just want to know if I am if I have license to ramble like that or not. My gosh. I've been alone all day today. Can't you tell? I get lonely. Although this is my last week of loneliness because once I leave for Florida, my husband's on vacation. And then so when we come back we were home for like two days and then we get the dog. So I'm never going to be alone in this house again, or at least for the next 10 or 15 years. So it's my last week of being lonely, which is awesome. And I just have nobody to talk to. So I unload on you guys. Lucky you. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on and say good night. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day or are having a wonderful day whenever it is you're actually watching this video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and I will see you tomorrow for hump day and the 14th wow time is flying man time is really flying have a good night guys